I remember when I first began to uh, to see that the Bible was mostly not about me, and and you know you realize there might be a little offense at first, realizing I can't just go to Jeremiah twenty nine eleven and say, oh well, yeah, God has plans for me to prosper me, and and. That doesn't mean that God doesn't care about me and care about my life. I mean, while I was still yet a sinner, the Messiah came and died for me. Uh, but seeing that the Bible was mostly not about me was actually something that made me smile and freed me to see the dignity of who God is, of what he's done. And, and it, it, it enlarged my heart, I'd say, even more to understand uh, the the grandiose the, the the grand story and and it actually freed my heart to love him in a way that I'd never thought that I could love him before. Uh, but seeing seeing the the story of the God of Israel and seeing you know, I guess reading the scriptures and and realizing this is about something so much bigger than just my individual life and what God can do for me to bless my circumstances or or give me a comfortable life or or those sorts of things that. that you know, again, those things are not necessarily wrong or evil, uh, yet in light of the rest of the story, how does God call us to live? What, what does the Bible say about, uh, about Israel and about God, and, and how do I relate to him in light of his story? 